Remember Oscar Isaac's new Metal Gear movie? It's been a little while since his casting was announced to the masses, but with us having a whole series on video game adaptations coming to the movie industry, of course we were gonna resurface this pretty recent reveal. And actually, as I researched it, I learned there's a whole bunch of history with the production of this movie, as well as all sorts of direct Metal Gear history too. That wasn't easy to boil down. Anyway, let's talk news. As of December 2020, it was announced that Oscar Isaac, Mr. Star Wars pilot Adam Adam's family father, Apocalypse from X-Men Apocalypse, I never noticed, is now set to be playing the starring role of Solid Snake. Nice. But how did this come to be? After all, Isaac is just the latest addition to the production, which has been going on for 9 if not 15 years. Well, actually, the origin of Oscar Isaac as a choice specifically is pretty interesting, if not a tad unconventional. It all started for him with IGN, of all things, interviewing a bunch of celebs for the release of Triple Frontier, right alongside Pedro, Joel from The Last of Us, Pascal, Adria, the Ramirez from Fortnite voice actor Ahonia, and Ben Affleck. And some ways into that interview, they were asked which video game adaptations they would love to be a part of. Pascal hopped on to Dig Dug, Affleck pondered Dragon's Lair, and Gary Garrett Headland said, Mario Kart? All the while, Oscar Isaac doubled down on a specific go at Solid Snake. Very video Metal Gear Solid, that's the one I'm really- Really? Yeah, I, that, that, I'm throwing my hat in for that one. <laughs> Who'd you play? Snake, man. Putting his hat into the ring from March 2019, and the rest was somewhat history. As for how the movie's production will play out is yet to be known. After all, with such a big name on board, one can guess it's a pretty high priority now, but at the same time, Oscar Isaac's awfully busy. He's in Marvel's Moon Knight for Disney+, Plus, the Dune reboot, the card counter, the Great Machine, and Francis and the Godfather, as well as Armageddon time. All at varying stages of production with various people. So needless to say, it's a bit of a toss up on scheduling, no matter how invested they are. Still, the passion is there. And with director Jordan Vault Roberts on board, the project is only more daring. But to ease the weight, we do have vague concept art from the production to clue us in on what to expect. After all, a general idea has been fully formed. But while only now the production is getting an accelerating kick forward, it wasn't always like that. We'll overanalyze the concept art in a mo, but turn back 15 years and there's mentions of a Metal Gear movie way back then. At E3 2006, the franchise's creator Hideo Kojima, the legendary developer of the series, announced a Hollywood contract had been made and was considering filming the film in Alaska. It was purported to be in English despite its Japanese origins, though a release date was never slated. Jump to February 2007 and it was revealed that Sony Pictures would be involved in producing. Why am I not surprised it's you? How have you cropped up in so many topics lately? In May 2007, the voice actor for Solid Snake, David Hayter, submitted his take for the movie, including a treatment to Konami, only to be rejected. Apparently it was described as Metal Gear as the apocalypse now of the digital age, with Snake at the center of a swirling whirlpool of genomic military madness. In March 2008, producer Michael DeLuca was brought on board, previously working on Austin Powers 2 and Boogie Nights. And from here, all sorts of other people were noted as potential crew and cast members. Kurt Wimmer as writer-director, Jeremy Bolt and Paul Anderson too. Christian Bale said he was interested in an interview with Nuts magazine. Kojima once said Hugh Jackman fans wanted to grab from the direct influence of young Kurt Russell as Snake Plissken. But in January 2010, Michael DeLuca stated that development likely wouldn't continue, saying video game companies are very protective of their property and there are certain things a studio required freedom wise to market and distribute a movie effectively in a global marketplace and getting those two things to match up is really hard. It was kind of impossible to get the agendas to match up. It was felt that Sony Pictures was not offering enough to create a proper cinematic version of the game, whilst Konami were concerned that the film could damage the image of the Metal Gear series. Hey Patrick, what am I now? <gasps> Stupid. And while you're in this far, help boost us in the algorithm, or subscribe if you haven't already. By now, checking hashtag Daz reviews under this video should also give you access to trailer analyses I've done on stream so there's more content there for you, or in the cards in the upper right. Otherwise, here are my links, thank you for making it halfway-ish, and let's get back into Metal Gear. 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 Metal Gear.
Fast forward to August 30th, 2012, and the production was revealed to be back, reinvented and to be produced by the legendary Avi Arad. We've seen this guy before. He's the godfather of everything Marvel and non-MCU, as well as in the business of adaptations himself lately. Borderlands, Naruto, Uncharted, and this. And in 2014, our boy Jordan Vot roberts appeared to be the frontrunner to helm Sony Pictures' Metal Gear project, prior to his work on Kong Skull Island, as well as You're the Worst TV series in 2014 and 2019, that one live-action trailer for Destiny 2 was him, and then there's a few others that I don't really recognise. In 2017, he said that Metal Gear Solid is probably the most important franchise to me on the planet, and he said that he would fight tooth and nail to make sure it is done properly, and not make it something that it's not. Metal Gear Solid needs to be exactly what it needs to be, which is Metal Gear Solid. Kind of a lot of words that don't mean all too much, but his vision will make more clear sense in a bit, as we've now looped back to those crazy art pieces shown in 2018. Alongside their release, Vot Roberts stated that, quote, I wanted cinematic keyframes to express the world so people could reference the script and understand the world of the film without having to be knowledgeable with the game's cutscenes, characters, or environments. And the concept art certainly reflects that being a kind of fan service piece of the extended timeline of events, with some scenes taking place essentially 80 years apart. If this idea is said to be involved in the movie's end result and isn't just a world-building assistance thing, then it would suggest that the movie wants to attempt to cover Metal Gear Solid as a broader story running decades. And going to an earlier quote from the director, the film is said to not be a direct adaptation of any particular game. It sounds too much like a modern statement to call it a remix, but that's not what it is. But it's trying to fuse a couple of different storylines together, and it all ties together with a device I can't really talk about right now, but I'm really excited about. I think it's going to make a movie where people go, whoa, I've not seen that before, and that's very cool. And I think it's very Kojima in its approach. Whew. What exactly this device is that can reinvent the story to tie it in is something I'm really not qualified to speculate on. I can't even tell if it's a story presentation device or something within the universe of Metal Gear, it's so vague. But something I can somewhat comment on is the Kojima approach Jordan mentions. The dude is one of the most innovative game developers of the early PlayStation generation, and evidence of this just bleeds out from the walls of the Metal Gear games. The most iconic Iconic workarounds with gameplay and small details people tend to remember include having one boss call out the names of games that players had played in a psychological monologue by reading the memory card plugged into the console, and that in that same boss fight, the only way to hit them is to use the second controller slot as they are supposed to be canonically reading your mind if you use the first. Or with this character being an old man, if you start his fight and then just leave the game unplayed for two weeks, next time you boot up the game, he'll have died of old age instead. These kind of gags and secrets are rife throughout the franchise and elevate Kojima higher in his legendary status. So seeing some of that reflected in the final outcome of this movie is no small feat, but would certainly do the IP some justice. Let's see how that plays out. One thing we do know for certain, cardboard boxes are of course returning. I mean, was there really any doubt? Looping back to March 2019 now, Oscar Isaac voiced his interest. In December, the draft was announced to be complete, and then 2020 came around. And in June, the director appeared on Animal Talk to explain some blips in production. I thought I was going to be on set on this movie a year ago. The pandemic has sort of changed everything, and we're figuring out a bunch of stuff. I have no idea when it's going to go. I will fight for it, though, every single day. Kojima briefly voiced a vouch for Luca Marinelli as the spitting image of Snake, but in December, of course, Oscar Isaac was confirmed. With the writer of the Jurassic World films, Detective Pikachu, Rise of Skywalker, and Monster Trucks, Derek Connolly on the writing crew, with Jay Basu previously working on The Girl in the Spider's Web, Monsters Dark Continent, The Dinosaur Project, and Fast Girls, as well as Peter Kang as Executive Overseer. I struggle to find an IMDP page for him. Hideo Kojima, of course, also helped too. <sighs> so with us up today, 
great, let's look into that concept art. All sorts of characters and scenes make an appearance, articulating each corner of the MGS timeline. We see many Metal Gears, those are the bipedal walking tanks, most strapped with nuclear weapons. The Metal Gear Rex from Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Ray from Metal Gear Solid 2, and several geckos. From this alone, the plot point would look to be following the events of Metal Gear Solid, reaching the climax battle of Solid Snake against Metal Gear Rex, all the while showing the progress and history made from the timeline as a whole. There's also Grey Fox, aka Frank Yeager, aka Cyborg Ninja, who appears being a pretty integral character to the early release Metal Gear games, and becoming a sword-wielding science experiment that's both friend and foe to Snake, but assists with the Metal Gear Rex situation. Revolver Ocelot also appears in multiple different stages of life, seen as a rival in the events of Metal Gear Solid, and triple agent of all sorts of organizations over time. Psycho Mantis and Sniper Wolf also make an appearance, being super-powered members of Foxhound and bosses in-game. Of course, with all these characters being showcased, there's little to say on their celebrity star power. Little is known about the casting for any other characters at such an earlier stage, and even Oscar Isaac himself still has got like loads of projects to return to, like The Addams Family too. So, you know, keep that in mind. And then there's Liquid Snake, the primary antagonist and recurring villain. A foxhound mercenary like Solid Snake, but led an insurgency against the organization. At one point, he tortures Snake and tells him some pretty heavy spoilers, which would definitely be a golden opportunity to adapt into a movie. And there's Big Boss too, another character who we see all sorts of aging for, including a scene of taking down a certain traitor in their ranks. Also something to note is one final hope the director has, an R rating on top of it all. Of course there's that too. It's the ideal anyway. Vot Roberts has gone on to say about it that it's about doing it for a price so you can make the riskier balls to the wall Kojima-san version of it. There are Star Wars movies to talk about, there's all sorts of stuff to talk about. To me, this is that. This is a new frontier, not only for me as a filmmaker, but I just feel for audiences too. To me, it's a way to make the first great video game movie where it doesn't matter that it's based on a video game. Huh. If the dude achieves this level of expectation he's laying down, I'd imagine he'd be hailed as quite the legendary director himself. No pressure. But overall, this artwork covers a lot of the history of the Metal Gear Solid franchise, so perhaps it's covering a broad stroke of the world rather than a concise plot point to follow. If it is to be a merging of stories, maybe we'll get a taster of Metal Gear Solid 3's jungle, or skip to the future with an aged snake, all focused on a mission in the middle with the original Metal Gear Solid. I've seen some suggestions grant coverage of Big Boss flashbacks as he exists earlier in the timeline, whilst mashing that with present day Solid Snake later in the timeline. Really, this just sounds like a massive project with an ambitiously large bite taken from the franchise. We shouldn't be expecting this movie anytime soon given its progress so far, as even the production start date is still unknown, but you can imagine it'll get moving soon enough with this backing going on. But eventually, maybe we'll see a full-sized package of spectacle on this overtly bodacious Metal Gear Solid movie adaptation. I'm certainly intrigued, if not progressively cautious. Maybe a TV series would have properly, you know, fleshed out all this timeline malarkey. Who knows? The more I dug into researching this, the more and more ambitious it seemed, but if it can be given enough time and thought and passion, maybe it'll pay off tremendously. Or by the time something does release, we'll all have accelerated our raging ourselves. For now though, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care. Next week we're covering a terrible movie a couple of YouTubers made, and I'll see you in a bit. And if you didn't check out the trailer analyses, we now have a dedicated slot for it in these end screens. I care about this too much.